chashu is Cantonese style barbecue pork. You probably know that I made chashu before. Today, I want to remake the chashu recipe and answer your questions from before. This is what I call the ultimate chashu recipe. First, we're going to use the fork to lightly stab on the pork everywhere on both sides. So why am I doing this? You asked it me before. It helps to tenderize the meat and also helps the marinade to penetrate more. Can we use other cuts? That's another commonly asked question. So today I'm using pork butt. It's a cut that's coming from the shoulder of the pig. It has a nice marbling and a great balance of fat and lean meat. If you prefer more fat, you can replace it with pork belly. If you prefer only lean meat, you can replace it with pork loin. You could also use chicken for this recipe with less cooking time. To make the marinade in a bowl, mix in the fermented red bean curd. This provides a beautiful red coating on the chashu. You can also replace it with red yeast rice or red food coloring. We're also going to add the sauce of fermented red bean curd, oyster sauce, hoisin sauce, soy sauce, dark soy sauce, rose cooking wine. You could also use other types of cooking wine or just up it out if you can't consume any alcohol. Now we're going to add sugar, 5 spice powder, white pepper, and garlic. Whisk. From my experience in making chashu throughout the years, these ingredients create one of the best chashu sauces. But if you like, you could also add more herbs like cilantro, scallions, charlottes. And we're gonna reserve 3 tablespoons of the marinade. Cover it up and place it in the fridge. Transfer the pork to a large kitchen bag. And pour in the marinade. Seal the bag. Transfer the bag to the fridge to marinate overnight and flipping it about halfway through. To roast the pork, we're going to preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Please keep in mind that every oven is a little different and the thickness and the size of the meat are different too. So you might have to adjust the temperature and the time based on these conditions. Now we're going to place a roasting rack on top of a foil lined roasting pan. Remove the pork and place them on the roasting rack. Transfer the roasting pan to the oven where the pork is located at the center and roast for 30 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Remove the roasting pan from the oven. Brush the reserved marinade all over the pork on both sides. Return the roasting pan to the oven and roast for another 30 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. In the meantime, in a bowl, we're going to add in the honey or we'll replace it with mottos and hot water and whisk. Brush the honey glaze all over the pork on both sides.
Return the roasting pan to the oven and roast for a final 15 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Remove the cashew from the oven and let it rest for about 10 minutes before slicing it into bite-sized pieces. At this point, the internal temperature of the pork is at least 165 degrees Fahrenheit. This is absolutely amazing, super delicious. Slightly sweet, slightly char, really savory. It just gets to the point. It is the taste of chashu. It is actually one of the best chashu I have ever tried. And as you can see, I made a lot of chashu here today. If you can't finish it, you can turn it into other dishes also, like with rice or noodles, you just stir fry them or make it into chashu bao, make it into egg foo yum. <laughs> if you're interested in these recipes, you can always check it out on my website at cclee.tv. If you have any questions at all, comment below. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you like it, subscribe and thumbs up. I will see you again next week for another awesome episode. Bye!